Hey everyone, I'm Mark and in this video I'll give you some tips and trips to make your life dealing with the flea market and escape from Tarkov a little bit easier. First off, use filter by item, linked search and required search to quickly find items on the flea market. Filter by item will show you the current listings and their price on the flea market. Linked search is good for finding out which mods go onto your guns. Be aware that you might have to do a linked search on different parts of your gun. For example, you may have to do a linked search on the barrel to find muzzle devices that will fit. Required search will show you trades that other players or traders offer for that item. Use advanced filters to filter out unwanted listings. For example, setting the condition to 100 when searching for meds or armor will only show you full med kits and full armored vest and chest rigs. Exclude barter items will remove barter offers from your search result. This is now set by default, but sometimes it gets removed and you'll have to add this filter manually again. And display offers from traders only works very well in combination with the required search mentioned before, as you'll filter out all the barter offers from players and you'll be left with barters from traders only. This is very good to quickly find out if that item is required or worth keeping for a trade. Third, check the item's value at traders and offers from other players before listing an item and consider the listing fee. Undercutting the minimum offer is usually a good idea if you want the item sold quickly. However, players sometimes list items for less money than a trader is actually willing to pay. So be sure to always check the traders first to find out what they'll pay for the item. You should start at therapist, then check skier and then mechanic. Use keyboard shortcuts. F5 will refresh the page that shows all the listings. There is also an icon located at the top right that you can click. Pressing Y will confirm a purchase. This way you can be faster than other players when trying to snatch that valuable item. Use Auto Select Similar when trying to sell multiple items to automatically select all items of the same type. This is a great way to quickly list multiple identical items for the same price. Be aware that at the moment items need to be outside of cases for this to work though. Double check the currency of listed items you're about to purchase. Some scumbags will try to trick you into buying items that at first glance look cheap or similar in price to other offers, but instead of rubles they put it up for USD or euros. So make sure to double check the currency and sort the price column so that it shows items from lowest to highest price and you'll get rid of those scam offers. You can buy items from traders directly from the flea market. This might make it easier and faster to buy items since you can search for specific items and don't have to change menus or check multiple traders. Just search for the item that you're looking for and use the advanced filter display offers from traders only and you're good to go. And finally, check current listings and prices of your items directly from the flea market screen via add offer and filter by item. As long as the items are not in cases, this means that you no longer need to go back to the character screen to select an item and check their price on the flea market. And that's it, my 8 tips and tricks for a better life on the flea market. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel for future content. I also stream on Twitch every single day of the week, starting from 1pm Central European time. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below or hit me up on the live stream. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.